Hello, everyone. So, welcome to St. Mary's Cathedral today, and uh, welcome to all of our young people who've come from St. Clair's, St. Augustine's, St. Gerard's School, and they're here today to sing for you uh, in this lovely Christmas service uh, that we're going to put together. Uh, so I'm the parish priest here of the cathedral for certainly the moment, uh, which is nice to be here. And I want to welcome you all uh, to, to this church as well. Those are the watching us on the live stream as well. It's always nice to have people out there who are uh, watching and hopefully to join in with some of the carols. Uh, you'll recognize a lot of the carols that we're going to be singing here today. And I hope, I think just before you might have had some mince pies and some nice cakes and other things as well. So I hope that you have enjoyed those. I've kept the cathedral warm. Do you notice that? I hope you notice that. Good, because it's nice and warm today because we need to keep warm because it's too cold outside. Do you know, there is a little story. I'm going to tell you this little story and then we'll begin. And it's, it's about this couple, this old elder, older couple who are listening to the radio and there's a song that says there's no place like home for the holidays. And that song was a family song. And it's one of those songs that is sung and sung in families. So there's a little cartoon about this and it shows a carload of people who are traveling down a snowy highway, down the A1 as it were, to come home for Christmas. And all the children are yelling in the car and screaming because they can't wait to get to where they're going to be. And the parents get a bit annoyed and short-tempered, telling them to keep quiet and sit down. And finally, they all start to sing this song. Over the river, through the woods, to grandma's house we go. There's no place like home for the holidays. That's what they start singing. And there's a little cartoon that shows all of this. And in the last frame, of the cartoon, you can see the car turning into a drive. And there, peeking out of the window, are the faces of an elderly couple. And Grandma shakes her head and says to Grandad, we move over the river and through the woods, and still they find us. But I'm sure they all had a lovely Christmas together, as I hope that you all will as well. So let's begin with a little opening prayer. Christ Jesus, as we celebrate your birth in a stable, we remember all those among us who were left out, who live in poverty, who are homeless, and who long to go home. Make room in our hearts for all of our brothers and all of our sisters so that we may reach out to them in love. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So let's now have our opening carol, O Come, O Ye Faithful.
Everyone has their own reason for enjoying Christmas. It might be the presents or the Christmas dinner. It might be because we have a holiday from school. Some people like the decorations, the tinsel, lights and tree. Some hope it will snow so that we can have a white Christmas, just like the ones we used to know. Some people like Christmas because they see family members, old and young. They may have family traditions, such as opening gifts at a certain time or playing games. They, make new, they may make new traditions. Some people like Christmas because it is a time of love when we can spread a little joy and show how we care for others. My favourite Christmas memory is giving presents. My favourite Christmas memory was when I was having Christmas dinner with my family. My favourite Christmas memory is giving, not, not receiving and praying to Jesus on Christmas Day. My favourite Christmas memory is spending time with your fam my family. Mary was a young girl who was soon to be married to Joseph, a carpenter. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her that she had to be chosen by God to be the mother of a very special baby, his son. Mary would have liked to have all of her family close by at, at this time, but unfortunately King Herod declared that all people had to pay a special tax and Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem to do so. They made the long journey with Mary riding on a donkey. When they arrived, they could not find a room to stay in and had to rest for the night in a stable.
Although Mary and Joseph couldn't be at their own home at this time, they did have some special visitors. The angel Gabriel spread the good news. First to some shepherds who were watching their sheep, and then to three wise men who were travelling in search of the king of, for the king of the Jews. Gabriel told the shepherds to follow the bright star in the sky as it would lead them to a baby lying in a manger. There they found Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothes, surrounded by animals.
A new baby needs many things. They need nappies, baby grows, bibs, a pram, and a cot to name just a few. Jesus had none of these luxuries. There were three wise men who were traveling in search of the King of the Jews. Their gifts were unusual, but had very special meanings. Gold, which represents kingship, frankincense, which represents deity, and myrrh, which represents dying. The wise men would only have given these gifts to someone important. The three wise men helped Jesus and his family. They didn't tell King Herod where Jesus was. Joseph was told in a dream that he must take his family away until Herod had stopped searching for the King of the Jews. Christmas is a time when we help others who are less fortunate than ourselves. We can show kindness in lots of ways. We could simply smile at someone who looks sad. We might buy, buy a warm drink for someone who is homeless or donate a gift to a child in hospital. We might make up Christmas food and hampers for a family or donate to a food bank. Jesus taught us to love one another and to treat others as we would like to be treated. Christmas is that time. Whilst I was um, listening and joining in with the carols, um, suddenly a thought came to me um, 50 years ago. Believe it or not, 50 years ago, I was at St. Clair's School doing exactly what you're doing. Things don't change. 50 years ago. I know, I don't look at that old, do I? 
What do you mean, yes, you do? <laughs> but I was doing exactly the same and singing and being involved, and it was an exciting time because we knew that this is our last week at school, and we know that holidays are coming. Holidays are coming. Do you remember that advert with Coca-Cola? There's other brands as well, by the way. <laughs> Christmas Day is a day to recall past times, maybe to raise a glass uh, to those who no longer, sadly, are with us. And I often think back in my childhood, you see, 50 years ago, Slade were number one with Merry Christmas, everyone. You know, and it says, does your granny always tell you that the old songs are the best? My grandma used to say, and when I was a child, I used to get an apple for Christmas. And if I was good, there might be an orange. Imagine that. Finding an orange in your stocking. Hey, eh? How would you feel about that? No Nintendos, no kind of modern games, just an orange and an apple. Eh? Well, that's Christmas. And this is Christmas. And that's the wonderful thing. The important thing is that we enjoy it, no matter what our family is, no matter what we're going to do on Christmas Day, that we embrace it all because the reason why we celebrate Christmas is because of Jesus Christ being born again in our hearts so that we can all do all nice and wonderful things. Now I'll let you into a secret Father Joss, who sat at the back there, he thinks he's out of the way, but <laughs> Father Joss got an early Christmas present today. It took at least 10 rolls of Christmas paper to go around his Christmas present. Father Joss, do you want to come and tell them what you got for Christmas? Come on. Come on, Father Joss. See, Father Christmas came to Father Joss a little bit earlier, and he left him this amazing... Come on, tell them what they got. Tell them. We've unwrapped it. Well, I never thought... Uh, a Christmas gift will be much uh, earlier than 24th. Uh, it was a really, I am not off of the surprise that I have given a beautiful, wonderful Kia Picando car. <laughs> and I never ever thought that this year I will get a car so much so early <laughs> and that is my Christmas gift there we go. thank you great? would you like to get a car for Christmas I'll bet I'll bet you would well maybe one day one day but it's nice that father Joss now has wheels he can he can get to places which is great so I hope that when Christmas comes you wait patiently for when Christmas comes. We have to be patient, we have to be ready, we have to be prepared. Uh, this coming Sunday here at the cathedral, how we're going to prepare is we have the stable which will be here where you're sitting. And we have a little basket, a Moses basket, which will receive Jesus Christ. And we're going to ask people to help to prepare put a little piece of cloth in that basket. It's our way of saying, I will remember the birth of Jesus Christ on Christmas Day. So we're going to have what's called the cloth for the cradle on that day, uh, on this coming Sunday. So if you come to Mass here at the cathedral, you'll be asked to take a piece of cloth and to go and put it in the basket to prepare, all of us to prepare 
to celebrate Christmas together. And I hope that when Christmas comes, you'll enjoy opening your presents. It took us three hours to <laughs> open Father Joss. But I hope that you'll enjoy opening your presents. And it's important, yes, to receive, but it's important also to give. If we don't have any money to give presents or anything, we can give our love, can't we? Yeah? That would be a nice thing. And we always must say thank you for whatever, whatever we get. Okay. So have a lovely Christmas. Thank you so much to St. Augustine's, St. Gerard's, and St. Clare's School for this beautiful carol service today. Thank you to all the teachers and everyone that's been involved. And, um, and I wish you all a very happy Christmas as well. So we final prayer, Lord, we give thanks for all that you give to us. We pray that we continue to prepare for coming into our lives again, to renew our faith, to continue to see everything as a gift. Every day is a gift given to us. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones this Christmas, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're now going to sing my favorite carol of all, Silent Night.
she is. Bless her. And good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me, Mother? <laughs> Fantastic. So a big thank you to our school children from St. Clair's have already gone. We've got St. Gerard's and St. Augustine's going now. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to Miss Drum for playing the piano there. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> so we hope you can still all hear us at home. And we thought that we'd have a, a little sing song to, to fill the rest of our time. So that sounds ominous, doesn't it? To fill the rest of our time. Sound control maestro. So the weather's not too good, is it? We could do without that. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping. But I brought some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in a storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. Oh, the fire is slowly dying, but my dear, we're still goodbye As long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in a storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm Oh, the fire is slowly dying And my dear, we're still goodbye As long as you love me so Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices saying, let's be jolly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. You're walking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old-fashioned way. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing, let's be jolly, check 
the halls with boughs of holly rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the good new old fashioned way. Oh, well done. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Right, the next one mentions snow as well. We can't be having that. Although we've had some snow. Did anyone have snow at the weekend? Oh, yeah. We had a little bit. There was no need, really. So now you've got to imagine that I'm shaking Stevens. I know it's hard, isn't it? Snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. It's the season, love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. Time for parties and celebration. People dancing all night long. Time for presents and exchanging kisses. Time for singing Christmas songs. We're gonna have a party tonight. I'm gonna find that girl underneath the mistletoe. We'll kiss by candlelight. Room is swaying, records playing. All the old songs I love to hear All I wish that every day was Christmas What a nice way to spend the year We're gonna have a party tonight I'm gonna find that girl underneath the mistletoe We'll kiss till candlelight, snow is falling all around me Children playing, having fun It's the season, love and understanding Merry Christmas, everyone Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, well done, well done. Now, I've, I've got a very special instrument today for a very special person. And I don't want to point this person out, but there's only one person in here wearing a turkey on their head. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you notice how I went into a Teesside accent then? Turkey on their head, would you dare? So I, I brought, you can have it at your seat. I brought you an African drum because I thought, you know, the bigger the better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you might have. Well, I want you to. Sheila's the expert on drums. I am not getting in. I'm not getting involved here. I'm not getting involved. Yeah. You do, the thing is, you do have to sort of like have the, the bottom of it just sort of on an angle because the sound needs to come out of the hole at the bottom. <laughs> so we'll go for it. So I thought, we've got an ace drummer here. We need a carol of a drum, don't we? Are you ready for this one? I'll do that a bit higher up, a bit higher up. Come, they told me, far up a pom pom a newborn king to see far up a pom pom to the finest gifts we bring far up a pom pom to lay before the king far up a pom pom 
pom, rubber pom pom, rubber pom pom. So to honor him, pa rubber pom pom. When we come, do you want to do all three verses, Sheila, or is it getting to the turkey already? <laughs> Baby Jesus, pa ra pa pom pom. I am a poor boy too, pa ra pa pom pom. I have no gift to bring, pa ra pa pom pom. That's fit to give a king, pa. Shall I play for you? Pa ra pa pum pum on my drum. Very nodded. Pa ra pa pum pum. The ox and lamb kept time. Pa ra pa pum pum. I played my drum for him, pa ra pa pum pum. <laughs> I played my best for him, pa ra pa pum pum, ra pa pum pum, ra pa pum pum. Then he smiled at me, pa. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, isn't she wonderful? Sheila, everybody. Yay! <laughs> right, we'll do a couple more songs and then I'm going to get our little violinist to come and play for us. <sighs> oh, do you know I can hear sleigh bells? Can anyone else hear sleigh bells? I can hear sleigh bells. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight Walking in a winter wonderland Gone away is the bluebird Here to stay is a new bird He sings a love song as we go along Walking in a winter wonderland In the meadow we can build a snowman then pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man But you can do the job while you're in town Well, later on we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face unafraid the plans that we made Walking in a winter wonderland well, in the meadow we can build a snowman, snowman Then pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, I am married, we'll say, no man But you can do the job while you're in town Well, later on we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face and afraid the plans that we made Walking in a winter wonderland Walking in a winter wonderland Walking in a winter wonderland Oh, well done. Right, she's here and I know she'll play something lively. It's the wonderful Mrs. Beth Ramsey, yay! Do you need a cup, you know you are? Okay. Oh, oh, 
Oh, you can jingle your bells with it. We do have one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Absolutely wonderful now then. But you all know this one. But it's better in that key. Dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! Bells on Bob sleigh ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing the slaying song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Now the ground is white, go it while you're young, take the girls tonight, sing a slaying song, get a bobtail bay, 240 for his speed, then hitch him to an open sleigh, and you will take the lead, oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. But of course, we all know who has to pull that sledge, don't we? And you know, reindeers are, that pulled Santa's sleigh, they all have antlers, haven't they? Which means that they're all girls, because the men shed their antlers at this time of the year. Not saying who does all the work at Christmas like, but you know. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer has a very shiny nose. 
And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They wouldn't let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you go down in his story. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you go down in history. You go down in history. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now that I, I like this next one. I don't I don't care if nobody else does. Isn't that isn't that mean? Isn't that mean? Um, I just find that everybody just laughs at me every time I sing this one. Well, I think they're laughing at the song. I mean, they could just be laughing at me. I've thought about that now. Um, all I want for Christmas is me two front teeth. Me two front teeth. Yes, me two front teeth. Gee, if I could only have me two front teeth, then I could wish you Merry Christmas. It seems so long since I could say this the thoozy fitting on a thistle. Gosh, oh gee, how happy I'd be if I could only whistle. All I want for Christmas is me two front teeth, me two front teeth, see me two front teeth. Gee, if I could only have me two front teeth, then I could wish you Merry Christmas. Who came up with that one, eh? Whoever thought to write the lyrics. Well done. Now then, uh, can I just say to um, Dot, Dot maybe at the back, um, Christmas cards, because I didn't see it happen during the service. Just a thought, does anyone know where they are and would it be appropriate? Um, because I know one of the schools um, had to go early. So and they had brought something, but they might have taken it back. <laughs> I didn't mean that to sound mean. It, it may just be that because they had to go early, it, it, didn't, uh, it didn't happen. Uh, it would just be something that I'd say do now. So. We need Miss Marple, don't we? Yeah, no, th that's what we gave them for. Um... Oh, fantastic. So Miss Marple and, and company have gone out to, to look in any other detectives that you know. Oh. Are you hanging up your stocking on your wall? It's the time that every Santa has a ball. Does he ride a red-nosed reindeer? Does a ton upon his sleigh? Do the fairies keep him sober for a day? So he Everybody's having fun Look to the future now It's 
Are you sure you've got the room to spare inside? Does your granny always tell you that the old songs are the best? Then she's up and rock and rolling with the rest. So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. Kissing Santa Claus, ah, 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 ah. Are you hanging up your stocking on your wall? It's the time that every Santa has a ball. Does he ride a red-nosed reindeer? Does a turn upon his sleigh? Do the fairies keep him sober for a day? So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. Look to the future now, it's only just Only just begun. Oh, well done. You got them. Well, I was just thinking, um, I don't know how many there are. are there, uh, could we borrow the two pupils who were here from St. Augustine's to do something on behalf of St. Clair's? Would you mind? St. Clair's pupils very kindly have made you some Christmas cards. Yeah, but they had to leave at the end. Um, this young lady has sung for us this afternoon. Is this your big brother? Yeah, yeah. I can warn you, he will be in a couple of years because they do, they grow. Yeah, yeah. Um, so thank you for entertaining us this afternoon and thank you for coming along because I know you, you'd want to be at home now, wouldn't you, really? Yeah. No, you're supposed to say no at that point. Okay. I'll try that again because you really want to be at home, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Will you do us a job then? Okay. The ladies over there have got some Christmas cards. Could you take a pile each and, and hand them out to the people who've got the instruments and, uh, and if our carers can help sort of like pick out uh, where where to go, that's lovely. So this is a big happy Christmas from the wonderful children of St. Clair's who've spent a lot of time making you Christmas cards to say, hope you have a lovely Christmas. And uh, they look fantastic, aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely brilliant. And uh, so while they're bringing them round, we'll just have one little jolly one and then we'll finish because uh, Santa is on his way. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, he's checking it twice, he's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. Wow. 
Well done. Well done. Well, we've come to the end of our, our singing session. A big thank you to our two little elves there that have come and helped from Santa. Yeah. Wonderful. A big thank you once again to our marvellous primary schools who've done us a fantastic carol service this afternoon and obviously to St Clair's and, and their fantastic Christmas cards. Um, so we want to say a massive thank you to everybody. Thank you for coming along. A big thank you to Mrs. Beth Ramsey on the violin. A big thank you to our sound man, who is very sound, Mr. Phil Gardner. Without him, we could not do all of this. And to our ladies who have fed us handsomely, we are going to have to be a, a diet club after Christmas. And to the ladies of the committee who've organised all of this, it's absolutely fantastic. So let's finish on maybe the best known Christmas song of all time. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know where the treetops glisten and children I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright And may all Happy Christmas to all of you and to everyone who's joined us at home today and dur during the year. Thank you very much for your support. I think last month we had about 94 uh, people, uh, you know, sort of dipping in and out throughout the month. Um, so please come and join us sometime. Our, our next one will be January the 9th, I do believe. Um, yeah, round of it. It's the second Monday anyway in January. January already. Where does the time go? So, anyway, happy Christmas to you all and thank you for your support and all the best. Have a lovely time. Thank you.